Okay, so welcome back to my new video on secrets. So in my previous video, I talked about config maps. Okay, so this tutorial is going to be on secrets. And what is secret? A secret is an object that contains a small amount of sensitive data, such as a password, a token, or a key such information might otherwise be put in a port specification or in a container image. Using a secret means that you don't need to include confidential data in your application code. Secrets and secrets are similar to config maps, but are specifically intended to hold confidential data. So with secrets, you want to store all your confidential data inside um, the secret object, and then you reference them or you inject them into your container image or your pod specification. So that if the secret changes, um, your pod is going to consume the secret information directly. So as you can see, in the picture below, you can see um, the definition of a secret um, YAML file. Um, it has a kind to be was secret. The name is secret service account sample. And then the type is what? Service account token. And then under the data section, you have some key value pair, okay? Um, so that is all for secret. I'm going to show you how you can implement secrets um, from the terminal. So let's jump right in. So currently I'm in my terminal and um, I'm going to create um, some secret, but um, what you need to notice is that um, with Kubernetes, it works a lot with base 64 encoding. So if you want to store sensitive um, information in your secret object, you need to encode those uh, secret information using base 64. So I'm going to create a username and password um, secret object. So I'm going to start with echo hyphen n and then um, my username is um, admin and then i'm going to pipe that to base 64 so that is my admin and then i'm going to do another one for password i'm going to call it password and then and code that also. So now I'm going to create the secret. So I'm going to say cube CTO create secret. Secret um, generic. And then I'm going to call it credentials. Okay. And um, I'm going to use the from file strategy, and then I'll teach you the other option also from a file. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say hyphen hyphen from literal. Let me use the literal is equal to username is equal to, we use this one. We're going to copy that and paste. And then the password is what hyphen hyphen from literal is equal to password. And then we're going to use the base 64 encoding for password. And um, I think we are going to use the default namespace 
So I'm going to pass hyphen n default namespace. And um, what else do I need? I think that is all. Let me see if I can pipe this thing to um, a YAML file. Um, let me do hyphen hyphen dry run is equal to client. and pipe that to secret. Okay, so now we have it as what? Secret, secret, that is it, this one. Not the one with the S, we're calling it secret. So if I cut secret, you see, so you can see under the data section, we have the username and then the password, okay, username and the password and the kind is secret and then the metadata, okay. So what we can do is we can use cube CTL, CTL apply hyphen F secret dot YAML, okay, and we apply that, okay. As you can see, secret created. Um, let's get the secret. Give CTL, get secret. And then we call it credential, credential. How did you call credentials? Okay. Okay, so as you can see, it's of type opaque. And then I'm going to describe this secret describe secret credentials. Okay, as you can see, the username has eight bytes and then the password has 12 bytes. Okay, so um, we wanna get the actual username and then the password. So what we can do is, um, you can say kubectl get secret, the name of the secret. And then we can also say hyphen output is O hyphen O YAML. Okay, so once we do that, um, you can see that under the data session, we have our username and password. And um, we can also get use the JSON format JSON. You see, under the data section, we have the username and password. What we can also do is we want the JSON path is equal to data dot username okay and then we want to pass that and then pass that to base 64 um encoding and then we want to do the code hyphen hyphen the code you see that is the decoded value as we saw here, this one, okay? And um, if we do for password, if we do for password, password, you see, it's a CGF, um, where is it? This one, okay. So that is um, our password that we created. Um, so if we take this 
and then we decode it back. We decode it back. So we're going to say equal hyphen n, and then we we'll pass that in, and then we decode that. You see, we get our admin, our admin back, and then if we do for the password, if we do for the password, you see, we get the password back, okay? Um, what I'm also going to do now is, um, I'm going to create a secret from a file. So let's, um, write our password, username and password to a file, a text file. So I'm going to say um, n admin, and then I'll pipe that to um, username.txt. Um, Okay, let me make it base 64, base 64 before I pipe it to a text file. So as you can see, this is the text file. So if I cut this username, you see that is our username, okay? And then I'm going to do similar for password. I'm going to call this password. And then I'm going to call it password. You can call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to enter. So as you can see, we have the username.txt as well as the password.txt. So let me cut the password, okay? You see, this is the password, the same as before. So now we are going to create our secret. So what I can do is skip CTL create secret. Then I'm going to call it generic. And then I'm going to call this one um, user credentials. And then I'm going to say hyphen hyphen from file. And this file is what um, username. Oh, damn, I made a mistake. So this is going to be called username.txt. And then from file, and I'm going to choose the password.txt. And um, probably the hyphen n default namespace, which doesn't matter. I'm going to run this. You see, user credentials created. So let me see, kubectl get secret. So as you can see, we have the user credentials and then the credentials, and they are all of the type opaque. opaque. So let me describe this secret, kubectl describe secret so i'm going to say user credentials you see we have the password.txt and then the username.txt so let's try the json path i'm going to say cube ctl get secret and then the name of the secret is so uh, user I think credentials and then the output is going to be YAML. You see, 
This is the password and this is the username. And um, we can also do for JSON. So as you can see, we have the username and password. And um, we can also do the JSON path dot data dot let me try this username dot txt yeah most of the time if you use files to um, create your secrets or your config maps usually it doesn't allow you to uh, use the json path so I think um, that has been a problem. Yeah, it doesn't give you the results. Um, yeah, so let me see what I can do. Okay, so If we do for just username, it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Usually, when you use a file to create some of this configuration information, the JSON path doesn't work. So, I hope maybe in the future they might work on this um, problem. Um, what else? What else can I do? Yeah, so I think that is all for now. Um, I, I think um, in my couple of videos, I'll be um, showing a video, I'll be doing a video on how you can actually use these config maps and secrets in real world um, scenario. So um, see you in the next one and watch out for that video. Um, thanks for watching.